What has impressed you most about him so far through six games? Uh, you know, it's hard because, you know, he, he impresses me every day with his preparation and just being ready and being in shape physically and think, you know, all the little things he crosses, you know, he crosses those long time ago. So I, I'm never surprised when he makes a play when he does something, you know what I mean? Uh, the things that surprise me are, you know, like the penalties because he's, he's so intelligent and he knows the game so well that I don't know why he does that. But, uh, you know, he, he's so well-rounded and he, he's such a good player and he, and he takes everything I say and he's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put that into work. And, and that's what he does, you know, and he, he had a, a small play on a lineman where he knocked the guy down and it's like, see, you could do it, you know. And so, um, you know, I, I think when you scout a guy and you say, wow, this guy could be really good, um, you know, he's everything we expected. But the little things that he does, how he keeps, you know, the team going and, you know, some leadership stuff and bouncing back from an ankle and being on the road and stuff like that, uh, those are little things that you don't usually see out of a rookie. And, and uh, you know, I, I put it to just, you know, his family and stuff like that and how he was brought up. So what's the next step for him in the second half of the season? You know, he's just he's just going up the next step. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's what I told him. I said, I, I'm not surprised that he's made any plays. I don't subscribe to the idea that somebody could only make, you know, a fumble recovery and a touchdown and an interception in one game. You know, every series you go out there, you could make a play. You know what I mean? And it could be a great play, you know, and that's what I that's when I get mad because I don't want to limit him in any way you know I never tried to limit Ryan I'm not going to try to limit Devin because they're great players and they're great people and so who's to say I can't make a play every drive I go out there and, and he you know he makes some mistakes but you get tired and you're young and you know things happen and you know that, that's how football is and, and just the fact that you keep coming back after all those plays is uh is is what's hard to do, you know, and but that's what he's learning, and and he'll get there. Do you see that seam coverage or the tight end stuff in, in the past game? Is that less of an issue now than it was in the preseason or early this season? Uh, uh, that that was really just, you know, uh, he kind of got stuck, you know, and, and and we didn't work it enough in practice, and and. They Seattle was hitting us on it, you know what I mean? Or they hit somebody the week before, and it, it's a, I don't want to say it's an aberration, but it's a, oh, wow, we really got to work on this, you know? And if if you don't see it, and, you know, and Vince was in the game, and then we were rotating still then. So it's a little harder to, to be ready for a play that early in the season from a good quarterback on a good team, you know? So th those things, you know, that's just growing in the, in the defense, and, and that's, that's more on us as a staff preparing him better uh, than his talent, you know what I mean? Is his demeanor atypical? He seems so steady off the field with us. Even the other night, he was kind of matter of fact after the game. Uh, well, I think I think uh, atypical. He doesn't I, seem I, to have that linebacker sort of. I, I have a, I have. Well, he has that linebacker attitude when he goes and celebrates and he gets the ball. And, you know, like some things like pointing at a guy who's an excellent receiver is, you know, that to me is atypical because I, I think he should realize that he's a great player and he doesn't need to uh, do things like that because he's just going to make enough great plays where he, people are going to be like, wow, we're, we just need to stay away from this kid, you know. But um, great as you could look at him, and he's a nice kid. You know, he's polite and stuff like that. But trust me, underneath underneath all that, okay, there is a nuclear reactor of emotion going on, and that's what charges him to make those plays. So he may not be as outspoken as Greg Lloyd or flamboyant as Kevin Green or demonstrative as Joey Porter, but – it's in there, and it comes out in these little spurts, and, that, and that's what you see. But then he's like, oh, yeah, well, that's because he expects to do that. You know what I mean? And so they, trust me, that he, he is a linebacker through and through. He just only lets it out once in a while. He